Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto and I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And today we're reacting to and breaking down Fauzia, talk about her new track, or relatively new track, it's a couple months old, but it's relatively new in scheme of life, <laughs> her track called Hero. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the breakdown of the song. I really enjoy watching other artists kind of talk about the backstory of the songs, how they wrote it, the meaning behind it, because I think as an art artist and songwriter myself, it's really cool to learn and, and learn from other artists who have, at, at this point, more success than you. And I think that that's really important, you know, to never think that you're the best or you're that you're at the top and there's always opportunity to learn. Uh, so that being said, I, I really enjoy these uh, opportunities. So let's see what we got. This is Fauzia. If you want to check out my music, it is the best way to support the channel. Definitely go check out the Instagram and a whole bunch so of other stuff. Let's see what we got. So many people have told me that they connected with the song, especially after the year that we had, because like myself, so many people have had so much time alone and to just like evaluate the people in their life like are these people good for me are these connections that are you know like fueling my good energy or are they taking away from my energy so many people are like you know what i can be my hero at the end of the day i will be there for myself and if somebody wants to add something positive to my life and i can add something positive Dude, to their life she's preaching so be it. she is preaching that is so important i think that it is so important to figure out who's in your life and like she said i mean i'm not gonna repeat the exact same thing because you could just rewind it here but essentially just like don't be afraid to cut people out of your life because uh you you've, you've been friends for so long if they aren't the same person that you are now today and like they don't align with the things that you believe in and the person that you want to be it's okay to distance yourself you don't have to be a jerk and be like oh, i'm cutting you out of my life but you just can start distancing yourself by not necessarily texting him as often or hanging out as often and just pulling back and being surrounding yourself with the people that you want to be with and you want to be uh although that rather than the people that bring you down i wrote hero back in the winter time and i was taking a study break i got this like what is she studying? A study break? Wave of inspiration. And it's so mm. random. Like I get these random, like huge, like bursts of creativity. And I'm like, I need to write a song right now. Like I need to do this right now. And so it came to me all at once. I wrote the song in like 15 minutes and I went. I want to comment on that because that is super, super, super relatable. There are times where like you just get hit with this emotion of like, I need to be creative. I need to go sit and write this song. And then there are times where you sit down and try to write a song and you don't have anything. Some songs sing 15 minutes, some songs sing 15 years. And it's just, there's no rhyme or reason as why. To my little sister and I was like, do you like this? Like, should I finish it? And she was like, yeah, finish it. And so I did. <laughs> you things I really have to know. Her voice is crazy. I don't let you in. I need to know a lot. That of pitch things. is crazy. I never fully let someone into my life until like a long period of time has passed. And I'm like just like so cautious because I used to just be so like, oh, like, yes, come on in. Like everything's fine. And I would always end up hurt. And so I've had to learn from that mm. and know like, okay, so are you going to be there for me as much as I'm going to be there for you? Are you going to bring like good things, positive energy? Are you going to be uplifting? And all these things that I know I will be bringing to the table, I need to know that it's going to like going to be coming back in return. Don't want to be rational. Her pitch is so make impressive. The same mistakes again. I really want to avoid making the mistake of like trusting too easily and too soon especially when I just have no idea what intentions somebody might have. That's something that I used to Especially as you start to gain more success, some people just want to be around you just because, you know, they, they, they see the success and they don't necessarily like you for you, but they like you for your success. A lot, and I feel like I, it just, like, left me really, like, wounded. And so I've decided, like, no, I need to stick up for myself and I need to protect myself. Just as much as I want to protect people that I love, if I'm going to have them in my life, I need to make sure that they're not going to be harming me. Mm. Preach. I like your message, man. Would you believe it? 5 a.m. on a weekend, through the thick and the thin, never second guessing with you. It was actually supposed to be 5 a.m. on a weekday because, like, who's up at 5? Like, on a weekend, people might be up at 5 a.m. I'm up at 5 a.m. on a weekday. Mm, having fun. But, like, <laughs> on a weekday, nobody wants to be up at, like, 5 a.m. So that's what I wanted it to be, but then it had to rhyme. So then I was like, 5 a.m. on a weekend. Honestly, the point of that line is just saying, like, if I need you, are you gonna be like up, like stat pronto? Are you gonna be there or are you gonna be like nah? 
You can deal with it. Don't want to wake up wishing I never I love gave watching love. these. It's so cool, wishing man. I never gave trust <clears throat> knowing it wasn't true. Wow, that's a good rhyme scheme. I never gave love wishing I never gave trust. No love and trust that slant rhyme in there. That's cool. True. So in my song Tears of Gold, it talks about the complete opposite. It's just like you woke up like wishing you never gave love and gave like all your energy. And so this line was kind of like touching on that but saying I'm going to be careful and I'm going to make sure that I'm not in that position. I'm going to make sure that I'm not feeling like used and betrayed and How just take she? like those like cautionary steps. If I was your hero, would you Whoa. be mine? Whoa. I know that She's 21 years old. I totally assumed at least 25, 26. That's if crazy. If I was your hero, would you be mine? What? I know the saying of Dude, she's got so much time to grow. She's so young. And she's so talented. That is wild. Her voice is crazy. Oh my god. If I were to save you, would you do the same? And catch me if I'm falling, 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 falling. I think her voice is ridiculous. Are someone so ridiculous. No matter what is there for you at the end of the day when you need them. My favorite fairy tales were like the Barbie movies growing up. I watched all of them. If you watched Barbie movies, you're cooler than everyone. I'm sorry. Barbie movies, oh Barbie gee. Barbie the 12 Dancing Princesses, that one's my favorite. When you grow up watching these fairy tales with like perfect endings and like just the best case scenario, clearly that's not how real life is. And so in the song it's saying like, I know it's not a fairy tale. Like I know this is the real deal, but there is still a certain line that like even though it's not perfect i still want it to be true maybe i'm better off alone at least that's what my mind is saying i felt like i would be that the sing sing i like that man at least that's what my mind is saying i felt like i would be better off alone because I had just gotten so comfortable being with myself, which was really good. And like, I like for the first mm. time, I'm like, I can spend so much time with myself. It was such a like healthy relationship with my own like mind. And so there's always that option. Like, even if somebody is in my life and it's just like, I'm like, this person is just not good for my life or it's just not good for them either or whatever. I'm like, it's okay because I still have myself at the end of the day. That's important, man, to be okay with being alone. You know, just some people like, like for example, when I traveled, like I had to eat dinner alone a lot and it's like being comfortable, like in that being in your own skin is 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 hard sometimes, but it's very important. I think I've been through it too much. So you got that melody is wild. That this love is sure. That line was definitely an accumulation of like years of like, <laughs> just kind of, being let down, being let down, being let down, being let down, being let down. So I'm like, you know what? I think it's, I think that's too much. So I don't want to do that again. I don't want to go through that again. People that I thought were friends, and then you're like, maybe not because what is that? What are you doing? It just like was like scar after scar after scar after scar, and I'm just like, that's, she's very that's well spoken. Like. It's like I've been through too much, so I need to make sure that this is sure. Very well spoken. You got my heart on its knees and it's begging you, please don't go. Oh, oh. Voice is ridiculous, man. And I'll be fine if you leave, but I'm hoping this time you won't. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the bridge was the moment of vulnerability in the song. I am a very emotional person and I feel like I'm. I am very vulnerable, even though I am strong, and I wanted to showcase that, like, I'm not like this cold-hearted, like, rock walking around, like, ah, you know, like, it's like, if you're in my life, I hope you don't go. I hope you're good. Like, please, like, please don't go. But if you do. She seems like a great person to hang around with, man. I, this was really I was interesting to watch. I was studying for a computer science exam, and I was literally like losing my mind. And so I was like, I cannot take one more second of this. I'm going to go write music. And I just like ditched my laptop and I was like, okay, I'm just going to take a break from this. And the exam actually ended up going well. <laughs> I'm like, was it because of Hero? Uh, we'll find out. I guess we'll never know. I, that made no sense. <laughs>
I guess we'll never know. That was Come funny, on. man. Very cool. She is seems like a really cool person to hang out with, man. That was really, really, really fun to watch. Um, really interesting to kind of just see a little bit of the backstory of artists when they, you know, how they, they go about songwriting and what things mean to them and what things, you know, are adjusted according to their life. And I really appreciate that. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I can definitely relate to that a lot. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. God bless and peace out.